right, Polkadexers, uh, Pablo from Polkadex here, and today I'm going to be walking you through uh, the Polkadex migration. So uh, after we launched the mainnet uh, on September 29th, uh, we also launched the one-way migration bridge uh, from Ethereum to the Polkadex network. What this bridge does is it moves your PDEX, which used to be uh, an ERC-20 on Ethereum, uh, to the Polkadex mainnet, and it becomes the native token of the Polkadex mainnet. So how does the migration work? Uh, to migrate, you'll need a few things. Uh, like it says in the, in the guide that we posted with the Medium article, uh, you'll need a MetaMask browser extension with some uh, Ether to cover gas fees. Uh, you'll need a Polkadot uh, JS browser extension wallet uh, with a Polkadex account. And then you'll also, of course, need some PDEX uh, in your Ethereum wallet. Once you have all those, you can access the ERC-20 PDEX to native PDEX migration app and get started. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so I'm here in the app and I see two buttons. Uh, one is to select the wallet in which you want to receive your PDEX. So for this, you need to install Polkadot.js uh, browser extension. I already have it here. Uh, and then the second step is to connect the ERC-20 uh, Ethereum wallet where your PDEX uh, is, is currently. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to connect the Polkadot.js wallet. All right, that's connected. It'll show uh, your address on the Polkadex Live network. Also, if you click uh, on the wallet, you can select um, different wallets to, to migrate to, depending on, you know, if you have different accounts, uh, this might be helpful for you. Uh, but just to show you, it shows my uh, address. If I go here uh, where it says uh, the Polkadex blockchain is now accessible here. If I click on that, that's going to show me uh, the network. Uh, it's going to show me, you know, the recent blocks, uh, who's producing the block. Uh, I can even look at the validators, who's, who's also waiting to validate, how many nominations do they have. All that kind of stuff is there. If I go to accounts, I will see my account and I will see that my address is the same address here. All right, so now you can connect your uh, Ethereum wallet and that's my MetaMask wallet right here. So I have some uh, ETH and I have some PDEX. So I connect and just go ahead and press migrate. So now I have to confirm uh, that I want to uh, approve the spending of my uh, PDEX. And this is how much uh, it's going to cost in gas fees just to approve the spend. So I confirm that. And now we wait to approve. So you can also look at the transaction on Etherscan to track it and see how it's doing. Okay, so now uh, it's asking me to confirm the transaction. So that means that now I basically just have to confirm that I want to go through uh, the migration. So you'll see that it's processing on Ethereum, and we can see um, on Etherscan, uh, we can track how long uh, that's going to take. As soon as the transaction gets 15 block confirmations on Ethereum, it'll start getting processed by the, the relayer, uh, which will bring, it, bring your PDEX over to uh, Polkadex. 
So now we're just waiting for those 15 block confirmations. You can refresh just to see. Now we're at 11. And you'll you'll see your balance uh, here once once the we'll see our balance here once the the transaction is done. All right, let's see let's see how many block confirmations. All right, thirteen. We're a little bit closer. Let's refresh again and see. Still at 13. All right, so now it's gotten to 15, which means in a minute or so, uh, the, the PDEX should reach my account on Polkadex. And if we go back to the migration app, it, it still says that it's processing on the relayer. Uh, we've already uh, seen that it's been processed on Ethereum with 15 confirmation blocks. So now we're just waiting for the last uh, minute. And once it's migrated, this will turn into a migrated uh, sign. So now we can see that my uh, PDEX ERC20 balance uh, on my MetaMask wallet is now at zero. And you can also see that here. It, it's now at zero. Uh, and soon I should get that same balance onto my uh, Polkadot.js uh, wallet. Okay, so I'm going to double check the confirmations. Is it all good? Oh. And yeah, there it is. So that's my PDEX right there, same balance uh, as I had in ERC20. And the button is migrated. And we can also go to the blockchain uh, and check. And yeah, our balance is also showing up in the balance uh, for that same account. So that's how you migrate your PDEX from Ethereum to Polkadex. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions, let us know.